Hello and welcome. Let's do uh, this Olympiad question together. Uh, 27 to power of x plus 3 to power of x equals 222. I always suggest finding the range for x. So we kind of guess the value of x as the first step. We know that if x is 1, okay, the left side of the equation will be 30. The right side, 2, 2, 2. Not enough. Okay. What if x is 2? In this case, this will be 9. This would be 700, blah, blah, blah. So it would be larger than 222. So we kind of established, we already know, x is going to be between 1 and 2. It's really helpful, especially if you're doing a test. It would be really good. Okay. And now uh, let's see how we could figure out uh, to solve this equation. See, the trick here is this three and this 27, okay? So we want to create this three to power of X within the other term. So instead of 27, we could write three to power of three. And then this X, Okay, is at its own place. So we have this three to power of three to power of x. And we already know that we could swap these two. This x and this three could be swapped, meaning that this x could go inside. This three can come outside. So in this case, what happens? The next one will be, when we do this, it would be three to power of x. To the third power, right? It would be like this plus three to power of x equals two, two, two. So we are successful now. See, we created three to power of x everywhere. You see, and now, now that we have this and this one here. Because they are the same thing, we could call them anything else. We could call them X again. We could call them Y, whatever. So I'm going to call them Y. So this would be Y to power of 3 plus Y equals 222. Okay. Now how to solve this? Again, we always try our luck, okay? Let's see if we can guess the value of y. Uh, if y is five, the, the, this term would be 125. The other term would be uh, five, 130, not enough, okay? Now let's see. Uh, if we try six, however, we see that this, this would be 216 plus six. So six is one of the answer to this equation. We already established this. So y equals six is one of the answers. We need to check if there are any more answers, okay? So let's see, to do that, okay, we need to divide this equation, okay, by y minus six, because we know six is one of the answers. Okay, I'm gonna write it here. And when I write it, I'm going to take this to the left side as well. So we need to do this, y to power of three plus y minus two, two, two. Okay, if you want to, when we divide, we want to divide this by y minus six because six was one of the answers to this equation. Okay. Now we call this factorizing the equation. You could just see it for yourself or dividing equations. We're gonna do that. So I have done this before. I'm just gonna write it. I don't want to make the video long for that reason. Uh, the, res uh, the answer would be y squared plus 6y plus 37. 
Okay, so that means this equation over here, this part, this one, okay, equals these two multiplied. These two multiply will create this equation. So I'm gonna write it real quick. So this equation, this equation would be y squared plus 6y plus 37 multiplied by, these two are the same, multiplied by y plus 6. So we want to solve, sorry, y minus 6. So these equations are now the same, okay? So this green one over here, oh, uh, no. This green, this one, and this one now are the same. Okay. So we need to see if this one has any more roots. To do that, we know that this is going to be B. This is A is one, this is C. We check delta B is squared minus, okay, four times 37. Okay, we know that the B part, sorry. So the B part is going to be six. Let me change if I can turn this B into six. Ooh, that's a lot of mess. So six is squared minus this would be, of course, a negative value. That means there are no more answers here. Okay, only Y equals six is the answer. Remember, we call this Y. So we know that the question has become very, very easy now. Three to power of X equals six. Okay, now how do we solve this one? Easy, isn't it? We just, you could use your calculator. We add logarithm to both sides. So logarithm of this equals, ew, I moved the board around. I did it again. So Okay. And then this would be logarithm of six. Okay. We know that in a logarithm, now this could be here. So it's gonna be this x multiplied by logarithm of three equals logarithm of six. I think you got the answer, right? A lot of you have already got the answer. So x would be, so x would be logarithm of six, you could use your calculator divided by logarithm of three. Okay, so this would be the final response. This is the final answer to the question. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was useful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll make a ton of these questions.